guys, what's up? I'm here at the comic book picking up my picks of the week and I'm going to show them to you right now. I'm getting a Howard the Duck, Captain Marvel, Star Wars episode three, episode <laughs> Ant-Man issue three. Yes, a uh, Spider-Gwen variant. It's so pretty. The one and only Superior Iron Man. Instead of just like showing you guys what I pick up every week because how interesting can that be once a week? I'm gonna start providing you guys with some knowledge with the help of the guys here at Comic Bug. So, let's go on and ask them the question of the day. Okay guys, so the question of the day is basically some of you guys have asked me this on my channel and I wanted to give more opinions about it. If you're interested in either getting into comics or getting back into comics like I did with myself, I'm gonna have these guys here tell you some advice. So yeah. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm one of the proprietors here at the Comic Book. Here with my friend Jamelin. Who spends too much money at the Comic Book? Never too much. <laughs> well, first ask yourself what it was that inspired you to get back into comics. Did you go see Guardians of the Galaxy? And did that excite you? Do you want more Guardians of the Galaxy? And the obvious answer would be, check this out. It's a great book, Guardians of the Galaxy. Marvel's doing this thing now where they're creating this amazing synergy where there's a movie that comes out. When you go see that movie, even if you go see that movie on opening day, usually there's about a year of history, of comic book history. Like, Guardians started coming out about a year before the movie did, and it's kind of has the same vibe of the movie. So, it's like, hey, I like that. Well, guess what? You'll like this, too. Or maybe you heard a rumor that the Captain America 3 is going to be called Captain America Civil War. Well, guess what? There's a comic called Civil War, and it's not all about Captain America. But this is, this is a great sort of cinematic comic book that I recommend to anybody who liked the Avengers movie or anything like that. It's like, oh, you like that? Check this out, this is a great way to, to introduce yourself to a lot of the rest of the Marvel Universe. And then there might be certain characters in here that you want to explore more. My wife, she, she, what she loves about the superhero movies is she likes the, the romance. Is there going to be a romantic moment? And that's, not, that's kind of a stereotypical thing, I guess. But, hey, it's true. Um, for her. <laughs> Hawkeye. I, I guess what she likes is, is the sort of, she identifies more with the day-to-day -day struggles that we all go through as human beings. There, that, that sounds better. So you're saying that a lot of female readers might identify with that. I mean, story. I love this book too, but it's like one of those, like, you know, like, they're not gonna like a Rob Liefeld slugfest. Okay. I don't like a Rob Liefeld slugfest. But this, it's got depth, it's got emotion, it's got humor, it's multifaceted. It's like, wow, he's like a real guy, I bet he'd be fun on a date. Not that I fantasize about that, so you but want to date Paul Rudd Do you is, want to date is Paul Bruce Rudd? Banner, I think, isn't he? Who, no, that's enough. who's Bruce, who plays Bruce Banner? Help me out here. Mark Ruffalo. Ruffalo. Thank you, Ruffalo. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So There's anyway. some romances going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, why don't you talk about who you'd like to go on a date with? <laughs> Hawkeye? Batman. Oh, Batman. <laughs> oh, oh, Batman or Batman. No, too bad you're a little old for him. He does adopt, though. Everybody knows Batman became Batman because his parents were murdered. That's all you have to know. And you know what? A great comic book story, that is all you should have to know. You should be able to just jump in and and I think that's kind of where the industry is headed right now with DC and Marvel Let's go, man. sort of relaunching. Uh, it's very user friendly and, and accessible. Accessibility is key. Now, say you don't want capes and tights. Say your favorite movie is what's your favorite movie, sir? Uh, Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I thought you'd say Pulp Fiction, uh, <laughs> but it would have led me to saying you should read Straight Bullets because <laughs> it's an awesome book. Uh, <laughs> Crime, pulpy noir stuff that takes place in the 80s. Well, things that are like off the beaten path, not so mainstream. Uh, you mentioned Star Wars earlier. Um, this is a true sci-fi book. I mean, it's not so much capes and, and superpowers, but it's there is some time travel involved. But it's definitely more cerebral than your average. It's like you know. Lost in Space meets yeah. a messed up family. Right, exactly. Yeah. Um, I like another sci-fi book, Copperhead. It's a sci-fi and western mixed together, which is not an easy thing to pull off. Um, yeah, so there's that. And Birthright, which is more around the fantasy kind of realm. And it's pretty much like you said, if you like King Arthur or something like that. But the concept is more based on a lot of movies from the 80s. Um, and the, like the fantasy trips that kids go on or whatever. And like say the never ending story, it's about what happens after that. Like, does he live happily ever after? What, what adventures does that kid have now that his life has changed? 
And yeah, those are slayed the dragon and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, what's next? So those are some of my favorite ones that I've recently gotten into because I kind of took a break from comics. So. So what do you think of some of the recommendations that these lovely guys recommended? Hello. Of course, yes, you guys are they're very, very lovely. Um, be sure to, you know, subscribe if you want to see more advice from the comic bug. If you have any questions that you would like to have answered by these guys, be sure to leave them down below and I will be sure to ask them on later videos. Say bye guys! Bye guys! Adios! <laughs>